Colonel is a dichotomy. He's uh, kind of an oddball. And this is what I mean. His talent is better than anybody in the WWE. He shouldn't even think about promoting. He should be thinking about wrestling in the WWE. Unfortunately, there is so much politics, it's possible that he may never get his break. Well, uh, there's nothing I can do for him. I mean, these, some, these, these positions are solidified and some are not. And I don't even know who's in charge anymore. I haven't been there. In, uh, I was there in 1985 through 1994. Uh, that's just shy of nine years. Because I understand he was a Nationals wrestling champion and I have no doubt that he was just that. And I'm sure that um, if the chips are down, this guy can take care of himself. And I have tremendous respect for him as a wrestler, as an individual, as a promoter. And he's won my respect. He's uh, promoted me. Uh, he let me wrestle in Great North uh, 10 or 12 different times. And I've been very glad. Every, he's a man of his word. Everything he said, he delivered. He's never shorted me. Well, I remember when they made me the genius. I used to act like the genius in the ring. And I used to come back to the dressing room and be Lanny Poffo. I mean, if I were going to be acting like that all the way, uh, I wouldn't have one friend. And uh, I wouldn't even recognize myself. Some people cannot tell the difference between reality and imagination. And it's possible that this Hannibal character uh, might just go absolutely berserk sometimes. And let's, let's just be nice and say, turn the dial up toward 10. There was a press conference. Terry Funk, who I consider to be probably one of the most beloved legends of all time, 65 years old, for absolutely no reason, and maybe just to hypo attendance a little bit, he takes a reckless slap at Terry Funk and breaks his eardrum. And I feel somewhat responsible because I was the one that gave him his phone number. I was the one that got him together. And now I felt responsible. I don't know if that's the reason that he's not in the WWE. He certainly deserves to be, but maybe he's got a screw loose and maybe they just don't trust him. I don't know if his reputation precedes him. I don't know how many eardrums he's broken in the past. And uh, Great North Wrestling, I love working for them, but I just think it's a little bit pathetic when a man of this ability is not utilizing the WWE, and it must be horrible for him to have to watch television and see wrestlers of inferior ability being promoted into God's demigods and God bless him, whatever.